Welcome to the Egyptian campaign for Davidi et Impera 1.2. In the last part, we well, we had a little bit of a set to over here, and I know. Well, I've had a comment to say that I should be trying to hang on to this area here, but to be honest, it's just not going to work for the moment. So I'm quite happy just to leave this to deal with itself for the moment while I concentrate on the the eastern side or the western side here guys because what I really want to do is kind of capture this area capture this province here so that we can actually now kind of get a land bridge between the two parts of the empire because that will then free this navy up maybe to push into the Black Sea or down into the Mediterranean so that's what we're going to be concentrating on in this part and as part of that process I actually brought this army up here to what we can do is go in against Athenia now I've actually lost in that end turn I lost two of my veterans this guy dude, wow look at that for rank managed to assassinate the veteran here and my other one here who was doing my spying over here actually died of old age so that's actually changed the color so what I'm gonna have to do now is get my my agent it's gonna have to come down here and what I'm gonna do here guys I want to do this first is we're gonna have to recruit a new veteran uh, upkeep for all land units land recruitment replenishment rate up ships Manipulation, coerced upkeep for all land units. That could be quite useful. Military forever. I think we're going to recruit this guy here. Although, to be honest, he doesn't have that much in the way of rank. And what I'm kind of inclined to do, we've got a. I think I've got my other spy over here. I think I've, my other spy is just healed up at the end of this turn. Came here. And I think this guy's really annoying. My troops. Assassination. That's not much better. Okay, let's go for a bit of coercion. See if we can get rid of this guy. But it probably won't work. Well, I'll tell you. Because, again, this guy's a massive, but I do need to pull these armies back. I think I'm going to pull this army back this way and I'm going to pull this army back this way and get you into patrol to see how damaged this army was. This army is not quite so bad but it really needs, I need really need to get a little bit of artillery into this actually I think what I'm going to do save a bit of cash is push these two guys up because we've got quite a lot of offensive and I want to get one unit of artillery into here and I think what I am going to do also is merge these up and actually let's take these guys off patrol and wow what have we got here Persian archers mm, not that good these guys, the Judean archers are actually better but I think what I'm going to do is get a second piece of artillery into this army so that we can actually fight a decent siege but of course the main focus in this part is going to be we're going to come up here and attack Athenia we've only got the one piece of artillery but We should be okay, but let's just have a quick check of the auto result. Forget it. We're going to fight this. We, I mean, it could be a tough battle, but I think we should be able to win it. We obviously we've got total cavalry superiority, and well, with the artillery, we've got missile superiority. Right, start deployment. And of course we're going to take up a position that and 
centers there. Could take up position here, but that's a narrow gap. I think my inclination is to take up a position here. Because we've got the pike unit. And I think we're going to come in quite close. Normally I would set up further back, but I think this time we're going to have a of these guys. Phoenix here. Just going to have two sets of these guys out over here. here and what we're going to do is we've got my Capitation Lancers and all that and actually could land that side they could land that side so I think what we're going to do is have I think we have the general on this side and the uh, Tarantines that side. Grab these guys straight in the center. You guys have got the range if I remember correctly. Yeah, we've got 190 range. Oops. And I think what we're gonna have is these guys over here with a couple of these. supported by the general so if the navy comes ashore be able to come in that way and what we got left well I want you to stay in support keep out of mischief I don't want you guys to take any more casualties than necessary and we're just gonna have the swords out on that part what we got left we got archers also we're going to have the archers right across the front here. Town guard, Italian swordsman. Yep. like the fleet like it's going to come in that way so sling us in ah. okay what are your orders gonna bring the cavalry this way Guys in there. Ready. Ready I'll just get you guys to focus fire onto these. Alright, they're coming in. Troops fall back off skirmish mode. In fact, what you can do is you can break out to that flank. And we break out to that flank. Okay, we'll get there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And get you guys start to close this side. Archers come up this side. Guys, to turn. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Heavy melee. Okay. Guys, start to come up 
that way. Guarantee. Now, come in this way. You guys just keep coming this way. Quarantines in this way. Oh. Of course, General. Galatians in this way. Okay. Got the heavy cavalry going in this way. These guys are being broken by. Okay. Tarantines in get you on here. You can chuck in some javelins in the back. Actually, you guys go walk off over there. You guys go for a long walk that way. You guys stop them. Just dismount. Cavalry come this way. Quarantines, you just keep hitting these guys. Yeah, they're going, got the chain routes. That should be it. Yep, nice battle. We lost 92. We killed 1,686 and we lost 11 to friendly fire. That was a, a nice, neat battle. That's the way it should go. Of course, we're going to occupy ourselves a quick look. Yep, should be okay. We fight for you, my lord. Good friends, the defenders of the Nile. And I think we're. 75. I think I'm going to go with that because this is going to be very much the front line for quite some time because I don't want to push much further north than this for the moment. And we've got this agent here and of course I, I need, I've recruited a guy there and I think what I'm going to do is recruit another champion here. Get a second champion. Public order plus two. Uh, upkeep land units, upkeep show of force, morale for all units in target army, charge bonus all units, adventure. I think we we'll go with that because we might have to indulge in a bit of manipulation and coercion. Actually we've got a bit more cash to spend so that's given us 150, what can we convert this to? Um, that will give us growth, we don't really need growth anymore. That's going to give us plus 8 public order. That's going to give us extra garrison, but it's going to increase empire maintenance. Don't want that. I think we're going to go with the that. I think and that's going to take all my cash. Actually, let's cancel that for the moment. And I think I'd really need to, anything else here that Provincial, that's given me a bit of garrison. I want to hang on to that. We've got this built. That five turns and that be finished. I get that here. I think we're going to get that underway, guys. So it actually converts. And anything else I can do. Yeah, we spent a lot of cash. Asia. 
don't really want to give up this here just for the moment just in case we do get pushed back of course we're still Charax let's have a look yeah it's still minus 65 there's no point in repairing that that's just going to cost me money get Libya really could do with improving the food situation uh, that might improve the Batia. Got a lot of negative food in this area. Um, I think we will take that up. Try and improve the food over this side of the city. It says 31, but this food fluctuates incredibly wildly. Okay, we're gonna. What was the. I've forgotten what the research was. Intensified agriculture. So we completed that. Proof fortifications. What do we get here? Building construction costs. That was intensified agriculture. What do we get here? Plus seven food. Oh, so that's actually probably. So that gives us increased precinct of ISIS. That will give us plus five percent wealth from all regions, and then that will give us plus seven food. Anything military we can get. Uh, that could be useful. That would give us minus six percent upkeep for all fleets. Uh, all games training field. That's going to increase upkeep of armies. Army siege and holdout time reduced. I don't. I mean, I'm not a big one for sieging. But maybe being able to upgrade to a level three weaponsmith might could be useful. And that's a level four weaponsmith siege engineers. Yeah, maybe it's time we spent five turns doing this, guys. Uh, just to make things a bit more consistent. Right, guys. My agent. I, I, I think I'm quite happy for you to come out here. What's the public order like in here? You know, that's good, plus 25. And then I've got my fleet here defending, and then of course we got. Raiding, I think. I don't know what effect that's having. And of course we've got these armies here. I think I need to start moving. Right. up Ready for order. need to move these armies forward I think I'll move you up to here to bring I live to serve terror. this army up to On the here moon, my lord. and waiting for more troll ready for battle patrol and patrol. So how big is the garrison here? 20. Okay. I think we need to get this army up to defend Pella in case the Romans come through there. Where's my other agent? Oh yeah, you're on the way back. We can take here. And then here. That will give us a nice defensible frontier across here. Although we're going to have to watch the Romans slipping through here. But we can always send our new agent over there to keep an eye. Okay, guys, I'm going to go for an intern. Defenders of the Nile, which is actually just doing a quick way. Ariston. Yep, you're one of our faction, jet of our faction. Right. Uh, keep for all land units. Yep, I still don't want to commit to that. Charge bonus income. I, I think we're certainly going to go with that. Give them a bit of campaign movement range. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay, got loads of slums, we've got low regional supplies, we've got an admiral. Right, 
during the intern, guys, it flashed up very, very briefly. The Romans have now taken back there, so what I'm going to need to do is start moving this army north again. Take a little while to get there. And I think we're going to need to recruit. Mm, that's not bad. It's not brilliant either. Um, Armenian archers, 6 5. And slingers. Mm, I think. Grab some of those. Actually, no, we've got Cretan archers here. Get Cretan archer. And we've got cavalry, we got I think maybe we'll get a couple of thick of spears. These guys are brilliant, but they might do the job. Uh I think we could probably do with a few swordsmen in here, so get a Bring this army up to full size because if the Romans are going to come in here, I mean, they can get there in one turn. So, I mean, I can't raise an army, so we may have a bit of a tough proposition there. Okay, let's, how far could you get? Because again, I want to have a minimum casual casualty battle here. Okay. We fight for you, my lord. Okay, this uh, this army can actually move further. Great. Uh, actually, let's bring you this army up to here. Might be able to sneak out. Get you up to this way. You might be able to dish out a, a bit of a double whammy here. There's no real forces coming this way. So I think what we're going to do is bring you up, and I'm going to do something which is very rare for me. Is I'm just going to lay siege, and we're going to bring this army up. And here can you? Back over here. Asks much of its servants. Troll. I think you should be okay for food. At minus 29, but you've got some surplus. That's my agent here. I certainly want this agent over this way. Checking the water. Now I could whiz this army up and actually. It, but I think what I'm going to do is pull you out so that we can actually work on the public order here. Because they've got no armies here, but we've got to watch out for a navy. It's obviously what's going on here. Oh, it's obviously a bit of a set to me there. Right, over here, guys. Just gone too far. This army, I want to get back right alongside here and patrol. I think we'll give you a bit of extra. Just to perk you up, give you a bit more strength. And I think what we're going to do with this army is get you across this border. And you can patrol. Quick check of the food situation here. We are 25, let's have a quick check here. Yeah, minus 51, so you're going to have to pull back to where you were before in Gore. Obviously, there's a food problem here in Parza. I think I'm look. Yeah, you've only got base supplies of 25. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'd love to release this army at the moment but with the Scylla 
still over here a possibility. I, I just want to keep this border strong. We've got these guys here quite happily holding down. Yeah, you've got plus 35. You've got plus 43. Yeah, we're really building this up very, very quickly. Um, Pella's looking good. Four more turns. Beans ready to go. Okay, let's have a quick look in this area. I think we can now spend the money to convert that to get the public order going. Do it over here. Could take that up. That would give us a bit more cash. I thought we could, that would be even better. So I think we'll go with that. And we spent all the cash, guys. So let's go for an intern. Oh, undersigned skills, okay. Okay, what can you give me? Well, we certainly want that. And we've got the eyes of the storm here. And who are you? You're Zessophon. Which family do you belong to? Yeah, you're other nobility. We're 28. We're nearly there guys and the eternal optimist political rank political rank political rank no nope. one day one day and again i think i want that there and what can we get fleet wise here military don't really want that and i attack Um, one percent. Anything else here that will? You're actually of the other family, so. Gravitas, gravitas. Minus twenty percent the resistance to foreign occupation. You're actually a knight commander. Um. I think we'll go that way, just because. I mean, yes, you're gonna, you could end up fighting, but actually, I'm kind of a bit inclined. I bring you up to here, and what I could do. So the public order here is massive. Okay, and we're gonna bring back this way and oh I've forgotten all about this guy I think what I'm gonna do is this guy needs to build up a bit of experience so I think we're gonna put this guy into the army for the moment yeah I think if I get this navy up patrolling this area if the Romans or anyone pushes through here I've got a strong navy and what I could do then is got a bit of cash so uh, again I want to keep this relatively cheap let's get a couple of marines just build this navy up a little bit so this navy will defend this kind of lower bit here this navy will defend the Adriatic this navy will eventually come up and could patrol Odessa and Antilles if this area if it still says plus 20 at the moment so that's looking good right so let's go for an end turn guys sorry I'm rambling a little bit right got better siege tactics I've got an attrition report he's negotiates it yep. I mean this area is completely trashed but of course, I forgot to move these agents last time. What I try and do is manipulate this guy. Coercion, 41%. Come on, come on, you want to convert. You want to convert. You want to join the Egyptian Empire. Okay. Manipulation. Okay, let's go for another one. You really, really want to join my empire. I, I need another governor. Oh, bugger. Yeah. 
how far off a rebellion. Well, these guys are doing quite well actually. Um, but we're just going to leave that area to suffer. And I think I'm very a bit. Right, let's get back to here. Where's that army I'm moving? North. Um, I think we're going to come this way. Get this army moving up to position. And this area here, let's just check the. Yep, you're doing good. I think what I can do is pick this army up. That's part of the. That's the lamp, so we'll move you to about there. Patrol. What we're going to do is let you come down to here. And patrol. We've still got Idiots United here. Now we're only minus 41 now. Ah, getting better, guys. Getting better. What's the focus? Now, what we're going to do is move this My army Lord. up in port. Advance. The way is blocked. Oh, okay, we got the auto resolve 82%. We take this settlement. Continue with that glory. siege. We got this army here. Let's get. You over here. Okay, you're looking good. I'm a little bit worried about we got some navies hanging around here, so we need to get this navy into a teeny. Okay. And I think what we're going to do, this is looking good. So we're going to get this navy up. this area here so you're now covering this flank here fight or defend okay guys I think I'm, I'm gonna fight this guys again it's it's a, gonna be a casualty limitation exercise Start deployment. Got a nice, really nice big. Oh, look at that! We got an aqueduct. Yeah. Coming off the city. Got our reinforcements are coming in there. Wow. That's a capture point. The victory point is here. So we don't need to come up into here. This army can smash its way in that way, and this army can smash its way in here. Okay. I don't know why the AI always insists on having pikemen on. Yeah, I mean, pikemen are probably some of the worst units that you can actually have. Okay. Get you guys here. That way a little bit. And I mean there's a good chance these well, have have artillery. So we will put our old artillery here. Give them fire. Archers. Oh, sets of archers. Line up behind. General. Actually, you can stay at this end. Cavalry over here. Guys up. Oh, 
get with some artillery there. So first thing we'll do is get rid of that. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay. Our reinforcements are coming in on this side, so general over here. No artillery positions on this side. Have taken a little bit of damage, but nothing to worry about. Okay. Take your fire at will, put you on there. Yeah, cavalry. Let me cavalry. Guys, there, archers. Just let you guys move into position. That's their ballista gone. Hey, okay. will you please hit the wall? Uh, just some tiny little chiroplasts up there. I think what I will probably do is bring you guys back over here. I don't, just can't see the point in smash that way in there. How are we doing over here? We... The walls are breached. Yep, yeah, good. You smash through that side. Let's just get the speed up a bit, guys. Also, we're going to be here for quite a long time. Keep an eye on. Okay. This army moving into position. Get our line up our offensive troops pike units behind archers blisters I think you guys can just line up there how are we doing over here yeah we're quite happily smashing through these walls, the walls are okay and I think we can something to these guys. Another artillery unit there, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think we're out of their arc of fire now. Actually. Well, no, don't waste your ammunition. Just say hello to these guys. No guys in range yet. Yep. What's behind it? Okay, we're going to go through the wall there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yep, that's good. You can drop. You can drop. And you can go and stand right back there, so you don't be any idiots. Right, these guys are smashing this wall. So we're just going to get the second breach first. So that we can split their troops out. So I'm just going to... Oh, no, you one percent And just get these, all these guys up into position.
what I'll probably do guys is edit out this bit while I actually bash my way through the walls. The walls are breached. Okay. The walls are breached. Right guys, we've breached the second set of walls, so what I'm gonna do now is get these guys to increase the size of that breach. And what we're going to do now is move the archers forward. And we're going to launch the main attack from here. And of course what we're going to do also is these archers forward. And start moving our forces in on this side. Archers. Okay. Infantry. You guys go for that breach. You guys go for that breach. The walls are breached. Okay. And I think we can put the rest of the fire in on these guys. Get the guys coming up behind. A little bit of a pause there. Uh, general will bring the cavalry up. These guys can come in this side. Right. I say this is going to be the, the main thrust. Guys, pour lots and lots of fire in on these. Here are spears through. Put lots of fire on those. Okay, just going to give you a general command. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Force the walls. Okay, guys, in one of our units has used all its ammunition. So we're pushing through, get up here and take this tower. Guys, in. Archers, you focus exclusively on the top. Push it in that way. Okay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Thorax hoplites in. Hoplites in. What's the walls? I don't think I need the cavalry, my cavalry just yet, but you can come up. Okay. Guys, push on these. Okay. Really, really start to put lots of fire on these. These are light Italian spearmen. Okay. We've now got the walls up on that wall. There are spears. Okay. One of you, flaming shot. Let's get some bit of a morale drop on these guys. 
Right, we've got this side of there. Can I get you guys in? Um, I think we're gonna bring one of you this way. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. Bring you guys around that way. This is where they're actually holding up. We've got this tower now. Like the aqueduct. Okay. One of our units has used okay. all ammunition. Our general is under attack. Uh, the general will be okay. Bring this general. This tower's still being held. Which is a little bit annoying, but Okay, you guys get back, you're taking unnecessary casualties, in fact all you archers get back. One of our units has used all the okay, you capture that tower, you've now got the tower. Quarantines. We have captured a tower! Get you in now. Start pushing them. General here. Guys, get over. For I know I could go for the victory position, but I just don't like doing it, to be honest. Actually, let's get you guys here. Ballet infantry. Guys, start taking up that position. Cavalry. Guys, in here. These guys are now breaking. And of course, I think what we can do is get our general in and drop a war cry on these guys. General back. Cavalry, Tarantine, Cavalry over here. Right, we've now nearly virtually neutralised the tower. Okay. How are we doing over here? Got a couple here, but still with ammunition. So uh, we're hacking through these guys quite nicely. These guys are right. The tower's neutral, so get in. They've got no military capability, mi missile capability. Can we get through there? Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't want you near that tower. The tower's there, so. Actually, get my entire Tarantine Cavalry Division up here. Swords here. Okay. Cavalry in where's my other general? Want you up here. Supervising please. Okay. 
you guys support this infantry with javelins. One of our units has used all its ammunition. These guys are as good as dead. Okay. Over here. Got here. They've actually got. Department support. Okay. Hey, I want you guys up here. I thought I told you to get up here. Okay. General here, here. How are we doing over here? These guys are crumbling. So let's get some more forces up this way. Why won't these guys enter the city? Okay. Get in that way. Tarantine cavalry up here. Ready for some flank charges. This is where. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Hey. They're crumbling. Ah. Uh, where are you? Hey, fall back. Tarantines this way. We have captured a tower. Okay. Into the center. So we can get round behind them. Right, we've got bought this lot here. End battle. We lost 803. Killed 2096. Mm, pretty good. I mean, we lost quite a lot, probably to the towers as usual. It's always the towers that cause the damage. Yeah, down they go. Again, we're just going to occupy. And um, we've got some military traditions, okay. I certainly want. Actually, no. Knock that down. Demolish that. Demolish that. That converts to. I think we'll keep the gladiator school, that's plus 12. That, I think I quite like the Roman gladiator schools. I think we will get. Don't have that much in the way of food in this area. Minus 20 food. So we're going to have to turn that off for the moment. And I think we're going to have to turn change that to. Oh, well, we could probably get food from this area. Narcissus, sir. Yeah, you've got food in that area. So, I think uh, public order squalor plus two plus six experience for agents that could be useful. Although, I think I would rather have that because if we're going to expand that way, we're going to need that. I think to start with. We will get that in. 
get that converted. Oops. Because we need to get our empire maintenance down. And of course we're uh, 900 wealth. And again this is going to be more of a front line than thing. So that's going to be... I, th I think we're going to go with that. Okay. You just stay there, and I want some to be got here. Can we upgrade you too? Oh, yep. So I'm gonna give get these upgrades in. So that's the effect of the cavalry. Well, not gonna turn it down, guys. So. I know I'm doing it the cumbersome way, but should be able to get an upgrade for this one as well. Yeah, that's a useful upgrade. It's probably coming from. Anyway, I don't care where it's coming from, but probably this actually. Yep, level two war horses. Actually, what is the resource then for war horses? Okay. So I could build that to war horse breeder in the city. That's minus two food, ten percent wealth. Actually, I'm going to leave that for the moment, guys. Yeah, war horses are one of the rarer resources in the game that you can either have to obtain by trade or by that. So I think what I might do is actually convert that and keep the war horse here. Minus 9% provincial income, building upkeep, level 10 plus 10% from agriculture. And then I think what we may do is just fiddle this around a bit. And, and I could convert that to food. That's given us 300. I, th I think that's a decision for the next part, guys. My Lord. Now, I could swoop up and take Narcissos and gather that. And then that would give us... Oh, we have... I see iron there. Yes. Okay. I think we could really, really damage the Romans here. Very, very tempted to come up in this turn and just whack the Romans hard. Let's run this agent down here. Singlem's open. Did I move that? I moved this army over here, didn't I? Sorry, guys, I'm forgetting. Okay. Well, I'm out of time anyway, so what I'll probably do is pick up this part, and the next part I'll pick up with an attack on Nasisos. And that will give us there, and then of course that just leaves Odessa to complete this province here to see what's in Odessa. Yeah, they've got fish in Odessa. So maybe we can have that there. We can have the navy defending here, actually. How can I assist oh. I'm very, very tempted. How strong is this army here? We could go for a double knockout, but that's definitely going to be for the next part, guys. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your game.